farm again today, so being as the opportunists we are, we decided we would try and plunk a few with our bows, so we did, and uh, I'll show you all that real quick. We didn't get any footage of, of me shooting, um, I'll just go ahead and let y'all know. The first shot I missed because I was just so excited, <laughs> the second shot smoked them. Um, I did record Brad shooting though, so I'll show you all that real quick. up here been glassing and things have kind of slowed down for the time being so show you all guys how to clean one of these pretty little boogers brad's back there he's pretty much already got his his done got him with <laughs> pretty simple process do it like you would any other bird take the old breast split it open you see the meat there just split that open Pull that skin back, just like that. I'm gonna do this guy whole, so we get the legs and everything. So you just pull his little the skin off the legs there, just like that. Same with the other side. shot. Didn't ruin any meat. I kind of went right through the middle of the breast. <laughs> Did you? Oh. <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's going to oh. be worth it. Oh, it'll still be worth it. It's full of feathers. Because the arrow struck feathers in oh. the breast. Yeah. So we'll peel off the back side here. Take the old pooper. We'll make a slit between the pooper and the top there so we can pull his guts out. We'll make that slit there, just like that. And I need to cut this tail off. I can see that. Normally you'd shoot these with a shotgun, it'd be a lot easier to clean this guy than after a broadhead ripping through him. But you'll see this up here, that's your esophagus and their neck, their spine and everything. Just kind of stick the knife in there, slit that side, slit that side, and 
don't want to cut that right in the middle there. That way it breaks off. Okay. I'll just pull the rest of the skin off. nice and broken so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it right up against the there this one do it at the joint just like that and you got the guts here I'll do since I made that slit stick my finger up in there and rip her all down. Oh, there's a little heart. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's gonna be delicious for tonight. Hey, look at that shot. Tasty feathers. That's where I shot him right there. Actually saved the breast. I did that on purpose in case y'all are wondering. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll leave these little footsies on. And uh, that way I can grab it easier. But I'll put this back in my backpack. And we. We'll cook this guy over fire tonight. So that is how you shoot and clean. And now we're gonna cook. All right, back at camp now. And uh, Brad's gonna show us how you clean these guys. Look at that. Put a hole right through that thing. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> My bad. Uh, yeah, just rinse them with water real good. Pretty simple. Some people like to pull this skin off or this layer of whatever you call that, tissue or I don't even know what the correct word is for it. But uh, I'll pull some of it off if it's easy to get off. Um, the reason why I like to do that is it helps take in more flavor from the fire. Um, in our case, we don't have any seasoning, so I'm gonna try to get some of this stuff off of there so we can get some smoke flavor doesn't take much it's not very hard it's kind of like uh, skin on a chicken or not exactly the same but we get we get it we get it, we get it. Yeah. <laughs> you get it there's probably still some feathers in here uh, feather we, matter we can pick them out while we're we eating can it. pick them out while we're eating them Is that one more good dousing through the uh, glory hole there <laughs> whoops <laughs> this one seems sanitary enough so that one's ready I went on the tundra yep went on the tundra there's a feather the old fire <sighs> it's gonna have to do don't have uh Real good cooking wood, but it'll work. You're gonna put it like that for a few minutes and then flip yep. it over. Yep. So he put it uh, breastbone down first. Get a little close up. The little legs gotta be part. Lowered the, the grill all the way, and uh, hopefully that gets them cooking a little better. So we'll give it, 
good 15 minutes. Yeah, a couple minutes, a couple more minutes on that one side and put some over. Yeah. I think mine will need a little bit to flip over. Oh, yeah. okay. All right, I think they're done. Let's see about. Oh, yeah. A little crispy there. Slice this uh, breast off. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Mmm, smells delicious. Show you all that. It's the outside, inside. Uh. It tastes exactly like a dove. <laughs> Same exact thing. Just much bigger. Oh, that's so good. Oh, <laughs> so nice having some actual fresh meat out here. That is killer. I'm gonna finish that, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Please hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time.